Here at the University of Florida College of Medicine at Jacksonville, we have developed a simulated cervical cerclage model which we feel assists residents in learning or maintaining proficiency in performing cerclage. In the cited article by Dr. D. Fenner, surgical competence requires knowledge, technical skills, decision-making, communication skills, and leadership skills. To attain such surgical competence utilizing the traditional apprentice model requires a high volume of cases, opportunity for repetition, skilled surgical mentors, long work hours, all of which can be a challenge in modern residency training. To address these concerns, we have embraced surgical skill simulation, allowing for repeated standardized practice when there is decreased opportunity for learning due to reduced work hours or low surgical numbers. National data states that the incidence of cervical cerclage has decreased from 4.4 to 2.9 per 1,000 live births. These numbers are reflected in what we see at our institution. We have seen the average number of cerclages per resident decrease from 4 to 2.5 in a five-year span. First, we'll describe our multipurpose vaginal insert for the Noel mannequin. Fashion an exaggerated vaginal opening in one rubber stopper and a smaller 2 to 3 centimeter opening on the other and glue them on opposite ends of the PVC. Next, insert the sock through the opening and cut off the toe. This allows for each sock end to be folded back and secured in place with the hose clamps. The final product can then be inserted in the Noel delivery mannequin, creating a realistic space for vaginal procedures, such as cervical cerclage, cervical leap, cold knife cone, and colposcopy. We will demonstrate both the undilated and dilated cervical models. Our standard model for McDonald's cerclage requires half-inch foam, red spray paint, and suture. Optional foam tape can also be used for simulated vaginal epithelium required for Sherrodkar type cerclage. After spray painting the foam red, suture is used to approximate the edges, creating a cylinder. If vaginal epithelium is desired, thin foam tape can be placed around the cylinder. Place the cervix in the vaginal insert and then place the insert in the Noel mannequin. Utilizing the life-size mannequin allows use of actual instrumentation, patient positioning, and surgical technique. These principles will be demonstrated in the following video footage. In this simulation exercise, a McDonald's cerclage is demonstrated by a second year resident. You're going to take a bite. And you see how she's maneuvering. I know, I'm trying really hard to. <laughs> that would, would cause an issue. She's been anesthetized. To simulate a dilated and funneling cervix with visible membranes, the painted toilet tank flapper is placed in the vaginal insert. An ultrasound probe cover filled with fluid is used to simulate membranes. Not only will this model facilitate the surgical skill and knowledge required for emergency cerclage placement, but may also provide an opportunity to instruct or assess communication and professionalism, as the following video demonstrates. Hey, sweetie, we have a little bit of leakage down here, okay? Do we have a ruptured membrane? Do we have a ruptured membrane? Do you? Yeah. Your water yeah. Mm -hmm. Your water broke. What? Your bag of water around the baby. Um, it ruptured. It was one of those complications that was possible with the surgery. Oh, my God. What does this mean? Um, well, for right now, it means that we can't do the cerclage. Ms. Joe, so do you remember some of the stuff that we talked about before going into surgery? Yeah, you said we were going to close my cervix up and I was going to have this baby and it was going to be a long time from now. That was what we wanted to do. We wanted to be able to put it in. We first went and we were looking at your cervix. We tried to push the bag away from us. 
so that when we put the string around it with the needle, it wouldn't go through that bag. But it did. We have demonstrated how surgical simulation may help remedy some of the difficulties with traditional resident surgical skills training. We have provided a simple yet effective model, which we feel best demonstrates the advantages of simulation. We hope you will benefit from our shared experiences.